Over the last few years, millions of people have quit their jobs at historical levels. But this has actually created a huge opportunity for anyone to get out of a bad job they're in right now and get into a better one. In this video, I'm gonna rank the 100 most common careers in the United States from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst, from a financial perspective. Now keep in mind, this has more to do with how much opportunity the career has and how well you get paid, not how inherently valuable the career is to society. Those two things are different. True, true, true. But it's important to understand the financial aspect of a career before you go into it. So sit back, relax. If you're a Karen, take a few deep breaths so you don't get triggered. <laughs> and gently tap that like button if you appreciate my hard work and let's get into it. Also keep in mind, I'm going over a hundred careers in this video. So if I went into detail, it would be probably like two hours long. So I'm gonna keep this very short. I'm not gonna explain anything. I don't have time to, but if you wanna get more explanation on a lot of these careers, you can check out other videos on my channel. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out. I also do live streams once in a while and you're only gonna get updated on those live streams if you hit the notification bell. So that's that's another reason to do that. So this was a list put together by ranker.com and I'm just gonna go down the list from the first one to the last one. And it looks like they got their data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, so that makes sense. All right, first one on the list, retail salesperson. I think sales is a great skill to learn overall. Retail salespeople don't necessarily make all that much money at a lot of companies, but there are some where you can make good money. I really think that everybody should do a sales job at least once because it's gonna give you good perspective. But with that being said, I'll put retail salesperson, which is by the way, the most common job in in the United States. And this job does have over 4 million people employed in the US. So that is extremely common. I have seen people get into retail sales positions and then work their way up to much higher positions. So if you do a really good job, get into the right company with a lot of opportunity, this can be a good one to start out with. So overall, I'll give this one C tier. Next one on the list is going to be cashiers. Now I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. Companies do not value cashiers as much as they probably should, especially considering cashiers are the ones who interact with your customer base the most. So over 3.3 million cashiers in the US, many of them are making minimum wage. You have to deal with Karens all day long. I'm gonna need to speak to your manager. This is a tough one, not gonna sugarcoat it. It's gonna go into F tier. All right, next one on the list is going to be office clerks. And these are people who do just the bare minimum basic activities in an office, like answering the telephone, filing stuff, making copies, doing faxes. Definitely don't get paid well. Also, it's kind of stereotyped as a position that's extremely boring. You see it in the movies all the time, for instance, people just super bored at the office in their little cubicle. So uh, this one, I'll go ahead and put it into D tier. Next one on the list, this combined food preparation and serving workers with 2.6 million. So this is actually the lowest paid one yet. Uh, according to BLS, they make about $24,000 per year. They also work really hard. If you ever worked in fast food, it's not an easy job. So this one does not have a lot of upside. You're also going to have to deal with Karens. You're going to have to deal with people calling out all the time. So there are a few jobs out there that are better than others. For instance, in and out tends to treat their employees much better and also pay them better. But for the most part, this one is definitely going into F tier. Next one on the list is going to be red registered nurses. And there's a bunch of different types of nurses at different levels, um, but there are millions of nurses in the US. So nursing is one of those careers where there's so many different pathways you can go down. I've done videos about it before. Really, really good career to get into. There's also educational opportunities for you to level up. So for instance, you can become a nurse practitioner at the master's or the doctorate level. There's certain subspecialties of nursing that pay ridiculously well. For instance, travel nurses can make like five to $10,000 a week. Yes, I said a week. Damn! So yeah, nursing, you're gonna get worked super hard. Uh, that's common in a lot of different healthcare degrees. Nursing might be even one of the worst ones, but it's definitely an S tier career. Keep in mind, just because I say something is an S tier career, still do your own research. Make sure you have some interest in it. Make sure you don't hate it because a career could be S tier for one person and F tier for another. Waiters and waitresses, um, really good job actually when you're young, in my opinion, probably not something you wanna do for your whole life. You can make really good money from tips, for instance, and it's especially good if you're a high school or college kid and you only have time off in the evenings. But overall, I'm gonna put this one in C tier. Next one on the list is customer service representative. This one's kind of cool because you can do this remotely. 
case. So it is an option for a remote job, but it doesn't pay very well. Um, not a huge amount of opportunity here. Probably not something you want to do long term. I'll put it into D tier. Next one on the list is going to be janitors and cleaners with over 2 million in the US. So this one does not pay very well. You can get into it without getting any sort of education. So it's nice in that respect because you don't have to go into debt for college or anything like that. But yeah, this one, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it into D tier. Next one on the list is going to be freight stock and hand material mover laborers. About 2 million people employed here. And I would consider this to be a very physical job. Now, a lot of different trade careers actually pay really well. And if you look at the numbers on BLS, they're off for almost all of the trade careers for some reason. I think it might have something to do with them getting paid in cash. And so the way that BLS calculates it is a little off, but just know that the numbers on BLS are definitely way off for trade careers. But with that being said, if you are going to put your body on the line, if you're going to do a very physical career, you want to make sure that you are compensated well for that, because chances are you're not going to be able to do it until you're 65 years old. And I've actually done this as a side hustle where I used my truck and I would help people move stuff from point A to point B and it pays really well. So you could probably just easily start your own company here. Lots of people need stuff moved. So this one, I almost want to put it into F tier because of the damage it does to the body. I, I'll be nice and put it into D tier. Next one on the list, secretaries and administrative uh, assistants, 1.8 million. And I realize I need to speed up because um, I'm this video is going to be over an hour long if I keep talking. So this one is going to go into D tier stock clerks and order filers D tier general and operations managers B tier bookkeeping, accounting, and auditing clerks. This one goes into C tier. Elementary school teachers, C tier. Heavy and tractor trailer truck drivers. This is a super underrated one for the right type of person. You typically don't need any type of education to get into it. It only really just takes a few months of training and you can make really good money as a truck driver. You can even make in the six figures driving someone else's truck. And if you own your own truck, you can make several hundred thousand dollars a year. Now the lifestyle here is the tough part. You're gonna have to be gone from your family family for long periods of time, especially for the higher paying jobs. But yeah, this is a very good paying job that you don't need to spend all that much money to get into. I'm going to put it into A tier. Nursing aides, orderlies, and attendants. A lot of really good healthcare related jobs out there. I'll put this one into B tier. Wholesale and manufacturing sales representatives. This is actually a relatively well paying job. According to BLS, it pays about $65,000 a year, and you can typically get in with just a high school diploma. So I'll go ahead and put this one into B tier. First line supervisors of office and administrative support workers, aka assistance to the regional manager. Pretty decent pay here. According to BLS, it's about $62,000 a year. I'll put this one into B tier. Teacher assistant. So one of the good things about teacher related jobs is you're probably going to have a job, right? They don't have a very high unemployment rate. Pretty much all teachers can find jobs. A lot of teachers get a good amount of time off every year during the summer as well. But yeah, teacher assistants don't get paid as much as teachers. Of course, um, they get paid around $28,000 a year. Uh, so I'll put this one into D tier. Bus and truck mechanics and diesel engine specialists. I'll put it into B tier. General maintenance and repair workers. That's a very broad category, of course, but uh, it really depends on which one you go into, but I'll put that into B tier as well. First line supervisors of retail sales workers really depends on the company you work in and the industry you work in. But if you do a good job, you can definitely transfer to a good company and a good industry. So for that reason, I'll put this one into B tier. Executive secretaries and executive administrators administrative assistants. This one is declining at negative 7%. It's one of those careers that's being extremely affected by software. So I'll put this one into D tier. Accountants and auditors. I think accounting is a great career. Lots of flexibility to it. There's so many different things you can do. Um, this one is going to go into S tier. Secondary school teachers, also C tier. Security guard. I'll go ahead and put this one into C tier. Receptionist and information clerk. I think it's a very necessary career. Not a lot of upside to it. They get paid around $31,000 a year. I'm going to put this one into D tier. Business operations specialists, a really nice career. They get paid around $84,000 a year. This one goes into A tier. Home health aides. This is one of the fastest growing careers, but they're still not getting paid all that well. So it has a job outlook of 33% over the next 10 years, but they only get paid $27,000 a year. Now using the laws of supply and demand, if it has such a high job outlook, that means there's going to be a lot of demand for it. So hopefully 
hopefully we'll see how much they get paid go up but right now it's not great so this one i would say high d tier almost make it into c tier hopefully five or ten years from now it'll be much higher than that though next one on the list is team assemblers and i believe what they mean by that is assemblers and fabricators so kind of like somebody working on a production line no actually one of my best friends works on a production line um, there's a lot of opportunity for overtime they do get paid relatively well but they get worked hard now this is one of those jobs you get paid decently well without getting a college education in fact you don't even need to have a high school education in many cases but with that being said you probably don't want to work like this your entire career so i'll go ahead and put this one into d tier next is restaurant cooks and according to bls they make about twenty nine thousand dollars a year now of course if you work at a higher end restaurant you're going to make a lot more than that but generally speaking restaurant cooks are not making very good money unfortunately this one is going to go into f tier next on the list is maids and housekeeping cleaners they make about twenty eight thousand dollars a year this is one where i've seen quite a few people use their skills that they learn from becoming a maid or a housekeeper start their own business and then make quite a bit more money than they would as an employee so this could be considered like an employee sort of thing or almost like a trade career as well so it's definitely going to be better if maybe you start off with a company learn the trade and then start your own business also keep in mind you might be getting tips here so the numbers on bls may not be completely accurate but i almost consider this one to be a trade career even though i don't believe bls classifies it like that so i'm going to go ahead and put this one into c tier next one on the list is landscaping and groundskeeping workers this one does make about thirty-three thousand dollars a year it is more of kind of a physical job you're going to be outside doing stuff a lot so overall i'll give this one c tier food preparation workers um this one's going into f tier light truck or delivery service drivers now they don't get paid as much as like a normal truck driver but typically this is going to be more of a localized job so it's definitely more you know family friendly you get to actually see your family at the end of the night so i'll give this one b tier next one on the list is construction laborers i'm going to go ahead and give that one b tier as well first line supervisors of food preparation and serving workers this one goes into c tier licensed practical and licensed vocational nurses f tier shipping receiving and traffic clerks this one is going to go into c tier personal care aides this is kind of similar to the home health aid thing that we talked about uh, this one is going to go into d tier but hopefully a little bit better in the future all right packers and packagers another very physical job um probably don't want to do it for your whole career also doesn't pay all that well for how physical it is twenty nine thousand dollars a year this one goes into d tier middle school teachers c tier police and sheriff patrol officers they actually make pretty good money it's a nice stable steady government job i would put that one into a tier carpenters a trade career of course uh, this is definitely one of the least good of the commonly known trade careers in my opinion um, i'll go ahead and put it into c tier child care workers um, not paid very well this one goes into d tier automotive service technicians and mechanics this is another one of those careers where you see forty four thousand dollars a year but that's very misleading i can almost guarantee you they make quite a bit more money than that also something that you can get into relatively quickly if you're someone who has a knack for working on vehicles so i'll go ahead and put that one into b tier computer support specialist uh, they make about fifty five thousand dollars a year you can get into it sometimes without even having a degree so again this is another technology related career you see a lot of really good paying jobs in technology so for the amount of schooling you have to do for this one i would put this one into b tier next on the list is lawyers and there's over 500,000 of them here in the u.s now this is one where for the average person i think it might be one of the worst jobs on the list it is it's just super difficult to break into it um, especially when you first start you're going to be doing the grunt work it's also one of those careers that's overly glamorized on tv so the perception of what the career is like is just miles away from what the reality is I actually did an entire video on this one but with that being said if you are a very ambitious person lawyer can be a great career for you if you're like an a-type personality super ambitious super competitive lawyer can be good if you're not one of those things this might be an absolute nightmare of a career for you so i'll go ahead and put this one into b tier next one on the list is going to be tellers and they make around thirty-two thousand dollars a year they are the ones who do the transactions at banks it is declining at negative 17 percent. so this is another one of those careers that has been hit really hard by technology and automation you can get into it with just a high school diploma but uh, this is a tough one i would say probably avoid it 
F tier. Next one on the list is first line supervisors of production and operating workers. So basically a management position, they make around $66,000 a year. I'll put this one into B tier. Next one on the list is going to be a management analyst. You do need a bachelor's degree to get into this one and they make around $87,000 a year. Job outlook is 14% over the next 10 years, which is much faster than average. So this is a really good one to get into. I would say A tier. Service sales representatives. This is another uh, sales-based job. You Usually this pays a little bit higher than if you're like a retail salesperson, for instance. Um, so this one is going to actually go into B tier. Fast food cooks, that one goes into F tier. Medical assistance, kind of similar to the home health aid job, 18% job outlook over the next 10 years. They only get paid about 35,000, which is not great, but with all that demand, you might see the pay increase relatively soon. So this one I'll put into C tier. Industrial truck and tractor operators can make really good money with this one, and it's another trade career where the number they give you is definitely lower than the reality. I will put this one into B tier. Electricians, this is one of the best trade careers because it's not nearly as difficult on your body. This one goes into S tier. Dishwashers, uh, not so great. I'm gonna put it in F tier. Application software developers, really great career. You work in the technology industry, S tier. Computer system analyst, another great career in the technology industry. I'll put this one in S tier as well. Bartenders, relatively similar to waiters and waitresses. Um, probably a good job at a certain period of your life. Maybe not something you want to do your entire life, but you can get paid really well when it comes to tips. So probably a good job to have at a young age. Um, I'll go ahead and put it into B tier. All right, medical secretaries, they get paid around $39,000 a year. This one isn't growing quite as fast as some of the other ones, but still relatively decent. I'll put it into C tier. Billing and posting clerks also going into C tier. Financial manager makes really good money. This one goes into S tier. First line supervisor of construction trades and extraction workers. So something like a foreman, for instance, they make really good money. BLS has it as $72,000 a year, but again, I can tell you it's going to be a lot more than that. This is basically a highly skilled trades worker who oversees other ones. This one goes into S tier. School or special client bus drivers, um, they make around $34,000 a year. This one is going to go into C tier. Correctional officers and jailers, they make around $47,000 a year right now. Only requires a high school diploma to get into it, but it is declining at negative 7% over the next 10 years. So I'll put this one into C tier. Cafeteria, food concession, and coffee shop counter attendance, right? So something like a barista at a coffee shop, lots of Starbucks baristas out there with master's degrees and doctorates. Sometimes you can get tipped here. So I'll put this one into D tier. Next one is going to be human resources training and labor relations specialist. This is actually a pretty good job. They get paid around $63,000 a year. It's growing at 10%, which is as fast as average. I will put this one into B tier. First line supervisors of mechanics install and repairers. They make around $73,000 a year. Again, this is kind of a management type job. So they probably make quite a bit more than that because it is in the trades. This one is going to go into A tier. Counter and rental clerks. Uh, this one is going to go into F tier. Inspectors, testers, sorters, samplers, and weighers. Wow, that's really broad. Hard to even categorize this one, but they make on average about $44,000 a year. So I'll go ahead and put this one into C tier. Bill and account collectors. They make around $38,000 a year, but the job outlook is not good. Negative 9% over the next 10 years. So I will put this one into D tier. Helpers and production workers, they make around $32,000 a year. So they also throw apprenticeships into this category, which is a little bit weird to me. So if you're doing an apprenticeship, there's nothing wrong with that. While you do the apprenticeship, you're not going to be making crazy good money, something like $32,000 a year. But after you're done with it, you got paid to learn a trade. So I really don't know why they bunch these two things together, but I'll put this one into to C tier. Dining room, cafeteria attendants, and bartender helpers. I'll go ahead and put that into F tier. Institution and cafeteria cooks, F tier. Technical and scientific product sales representatives. So it's pretty rare when you can find somebody who has both a skill set of sales as well as a scientific or technical background. So if you are able to have both of those skill sets, this can be a really, really lucrative job for you, especially in certain industries. I have seen salespeople pulling in $200,000, $300,000 a year. And it really depends on the end industry, how much education you need, but a lot of the time you can get into this without having a college degree. So this one is going to go into A tier. System software developers, S tier. Driver and sales workers, I'll put this into C tier. Preschool teachers, C tier. Plumbers, pipe fitters, and steam fitters, 
Another one, if you look on BLS, $56,000 a year, I guarantee you plumbers make a lot more than that. Especially if you open your own business, you will hit six figures super easily. Uh, this one is gonna go into A tier. Social and human service assistance, $35,000 a year. You only need a high school diploma to get into it, and it's growing at 17%, which is much faster than average. Another one of those low level healthcare degrees where it doesn't pay all that well, but there is a really good job outlook, so I expect it to pay better in the future. And so for this one, I'm probably gonna put it into C tier. All right, next one on the list is going to be machinist. Uh, this one is another trade career. I'm gonna put it into B tier. Next one on the list, hairdresser, hairstylist, and cosmetologist. Now I consider this one to also be a trade career. And again, BLS says they make $27,000 a year guarantee you they make much more than that basically any career where there's a lot of cash exchanged they're going to make a lot more than what it says on bls it's also growing at 19 percent, which is much faster than average this one i'm going to put at b tier next one on the list is packaging and filing machine operators and tenders this one i will put into c tier operating engineers and other construction equipment operators says they make fifty-five thousand dollars a year this is a trade career they likely make a lot more than that this one is going to go into b tier computer programmers this one goes into s tier pharmacy technicians a lot of them start off working in retail which is not necessarily the best thing ever and then after a few years of experience they move into more you know clinical or hospital positions make about thirty-five thousand dollars a year and it's growing about four percent but the nice thing is it's one of those careers you can start without too much education depending on the state you live in usually it's maybe like a six month training period or some sort of certification so this one goes into c tier network and computer systems administrators s tier restaurant lounge and coffee shop hosts and hostesses uh, again this is another one where you can get some pretty good tips so I'll put it into D tier postal service mail carriers now a lot of these are going to be government jobs so they're very stable they also have really good benefits and they're not the most difficult jobs in the world you also get to walk around all day outside which means you get exercise so yeah this can be a pretty good career to get into of course there's the private side and then there's the government side but I will put this one into C tier next one on the list is a sales manager and this is the person who directs an organization's sales team they make hundred and thirty two thousand dollars a year it's growing at 7% over the next 10 years, which is as fast as average. Really good career. Obviously, you'd have to get good at sales first in order to manage a sales team, but this one goes into S tier. Insurance sales agents that probably want to sell you whole life insurance when you don't need it. $52,000 a year, growing at 7%, which is faster than average. I'll give this one B tier. Next one on the list is welders, cutters, solders, and brazers. Now again, trade career says they make $44,000 a year. Lots of cash transactions here. I can tell you they can make a lot more than that. If you own your own rig or you're like an underwater welder, you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year easily. It's also growing at 8%, which is pretty good. So this one is gonna go into B tier. Firefighters, a pretty good job overall. Technically a government job, I'll give it A tier. Dental assistants, another career that's relatively fast for you to get into. They make $41,000 a year and it's growing 11%, which is faster than average. There are really good health related careers at just about every education level. Dental assistant is one of them. Uh, I'll go ahead and put this one into B tier. Physicians, um, I made a whole video about this because I think this is another one of those careers where it has so much hype, so many TV shows about it that glamorize the lifestyle. So the perception of what the career is like is just so different than what the reality of the career is. But with that being said, if you're the right type of person that is becoming a doctor for the right reason, not because it makes good money or because you think it's really cool or you think you're gonna be respected, this can be a fantastic career. So for that reason, I will go ahead and put this one into A tier. Next Next one on the list is recreation workers. I'll put them into D tier. Telemarketers, I'll put them into D tier. Computer and information systems managers, S tier. And cleaners of vehicles and equipment. This is one like detailing a car, for instance. Maybe you don't make that much as an employee, but once you learn the skill, you can start your own business and make a killing. So this one I will put into C tier. A few more that just missed the list. Um, data analyst, I'll put that into S tier. Lots of different engineering related careers, I'll put those into S tier. And then real estate agent. Uh, it's a really good one you can get into that doesn't require a lot of education. This is a great career that you can kind of do on the side as a side hustle if you want, or if you're really competitive A-type personality, you can actually make millions as a real estate agent as well. So real estate agent, I'll give that one A 
tier. All right, so a present for you who made it to the end, the best resources for doing research on different careers. I compiled a list for you and I'm gonna put it in a Google Docs form at the description at the bottom with the resources. So it'll be at the very bottom of the description. This video right here is gonna be the highest paying entry level jobs. Hundreds of thousands of people have watched it. Really popular one. Highly recommend checking that out. If you haven't done it already, go ahead, gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video and I will see you next time.